Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making blueberry oat squares. These are delicious, they are more of a healthy snack I guess you could say and uh, they are so good you are going to love them. So let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing here for our base and for our topping which will be the same thing of course. So here we have some cold cubed butter, here we have some flour and some salt some oats, you want to make sure you're not using instant oats. Here we have some brown sugar and we are going to need the zest of an orange. You also want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you also want to have a 9 by 13 inch baking pan that has been greased and lined with some parchment paper. And that's about it for the base and the topping. Now for the filling, as soon as we get to that time, I will show you the ingredients for that. So let's move on to making our blueberry oat squares. Okay, so into our bowl here, we are going to add in our oats, brown sugar, flour, salt, and the zest of our orange, and then we will give that a good whisk. Okay, so once you have those ingredients mixed together, you want to add in your cold cubed butter. And with a um, pastry cutter, you want to just mix these ingredients together until it forms something really crumbly. So if you don't have a pastry cutter, you can just use some nice clean hands and that will work as well. So for now, I'm just going to switch here and I'm going to continue this process until we reach the desired consistency we're looking for. Okay, so this is what you want your mixture to look like. It is very crumbly, and to be completely honest with you, it is easiest if you use your clean hands. It is the easiest way to get this mixture to where you want it. And now I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to be needing for the filling. First of all, you'll need a medium saucepan, and then you will need some fresh blueberries. You will also need a cornstarch slurry, which is cornstarch and some water. You will also need some sugar and some freshly squeezed orange juice. And that's pretty much it. So we are going to bring these ingredients over to our stove top. We're going to place our saucepan over medium heat and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so into our saucepan, we are going to add in our juice, okay, our sugar, and we will add in our blueberries. And we are going to allow this to come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we will lower our temperature to medium low. And giving it a stir every once in a while, you want to allow your blueberries to become nice, tender, and soft, which will be about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so our mixture has come up to a boil. Now we are going to lower our temperature and we're going to simmer our blueberries here for around eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so we've already mixed our slurry as I just uh, previously showed you. And now our blueberries here have um, been simmering for 10 minutes. And now we are ready to add in our slurry. And once we do that, we will allow our mixture to come up to a bubble again. And then we will stir until our mixture has thickened up, which will be about one minute. Okay, so now you want to turn off your stovetop and just set this blueberry mixture aside until we need it. Okay, so now we are going to place half of our oat mixture into our prepared pan and we will reserve the other half so we can use on our topping. Ok, 
Okay, so my oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now my filling is at room temperature here. So what you want to do is once you have made your filling, you place it on a cooling rack and allow it to cool to room temperature around 30 minutes or so. So it's a good idea when you're making these at home that you make your filling first. So that when you have your base and your topping done, your filling is ready and you're ready to bake them all at once. So now what I'm going to do is place my filling on top of my base, then we'll place the remaining topping on top and we will bake these for around 45 minutes. I'll let you know what they look like when they're done and how long they were in the oven for. Okay, so my blueberry oat bars baked for exactly 45 minutes, and now I just left them as you see them here for about an hour. You want to make sure that you allow them to come to room temperature before slicing them or removing them out of the pan or they will just break on you. So now what I'm going to do is place these on a cutting board. We are going to cut them into squares and then we are ready to serve. These are incredible. The filling is just amazing. The orange zest definitely shines in this recipe. It adds such wonderful flavor to these. You really, really have to give these a try. The edges are chewy and crunchy. They are just perfection, really easy to make, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.